Ooh, I like it. Do I like it? Yes, I think I like it. I didn't get that at all. I haven't really found my like. Oh, uns, 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 beats in the club. I'm kind of devastated. Hey, Eurovision fans, it's Tom Kunji from Shanghai, back for another Eurovision reaction video. Tonight, I'm reacting to the first semi final of San Remo, that's Italy's national final. I'm going to listen and react to the 12 songs and say who I think could be a winner. So, let's kiki. As always, you can use the progress bar if you want to skip to a particular song. So this is my third year doing San Remo. I'm a massive fan of the competition. Although I do look at it very much from the perspective of perspective of a Eurovision fan and not a San Remo fan. Really, it is Eurovision competition for me first, personally. For me, San Remo is the absolute benchmark for national finals. It's got the best artists of every genre in the country. It's got a huge variety of people. You've got young, old, different configurations of solo, duet, groups. You've got, you get to see different people from the culture. You get to see old ladies. You get to see young male groups. It just get this massive variety of people. It's so interesting. It gives me a real insight into Italian culture. It's like the absolute opposite of the Irish national final, which is six young white people. I mean, like the format I'm not massively into. I do find the show a little bit long and there's like 9 billion performances, but in terms of actual music quality that they've got, well, I think it's just, I've always said that it is the best national final. I'm not reacting to live versions because the copyright of RAI is a nightmare. I'm just going to put the lyric videos. It's just much easier for me. And please tell me if I'm listening to the wrong version. <laughs> I've done my best to try and find the real thing. Last year, I listened to one of the wrong songs. So please tell me if I've listened to the wrong version. I'll try and find it. I'm going to listen to them in the order that they were in last night. Not going to lie. <laughs> I really just want to watch Mahmoud's song, but I'm going to be well behaved and wait until 8th place okay first up is Achille Laro with Domenica now I remember Achille from last oh was it last year I don't really remember a song I don't think it was my cup of tea Domenica I want to know my secret bang that starting tableau of him kneeling in front of the thing it's just really awesome there's so much artistry in San Remo I really love that Ooh. okay kind of a little bit rocky Oh, well, he did mention rock and roll. <laughs> so, thankfully, I've, I've mentioned the right genre. Okay, it's got a kind of, like, happy rock and roll feel. I'm trying to find the right lighting. <laughs> okay, it's strummy and, like, easy going so far. Uh, we're a minute in, though, no chorus. Okay. Okay, here's the chorus. It's one of those songs where the chorus is not very abrupt. It like smoothly transitions into the chorus. Yeah, it's quite safe actually from what I was expecting from the way he looks. It's a very, um, very chill, easygoing. Like this song could almost be in Denmark's national final. But yeah, it's got a super chill feeling. I'm surprised that they pick it as the first song because it is, it's got a very calm demeanor. But I thought they'd go for like a big ripping banger as the first song. You know I'm a massive fan of these types of videos. Even if people don't have time to do a full music video, if they just give us like a small vignette like this, God, it's just something to give you like a small idea of who the person there is and what they, what visual concept they go for. Such an important part of their entry. I don't get why more countries don't realize the visual concept is vital. This is like the perfect song if you're kind of like driving across America or something like that or going on a long road trip. It's kind of like that background music to a montage of someone traveling across the world. Yeah, I thought that was fine. I, I wouldn't download that. I think it's very respectable. I think it's like a nice song. Like I said really nice, pleasant. I, I think background music is a bit too harsh because that makes it sound like it's like got nothing to it. But more like montage music is how I describe it. Next up is You Man. I'm pretty sure You Man is one of the artists who won the like the youth competition. I think he was one of those three. Anyway, the song is called Aura Equi. By the way, Domenica meant Sunday. I'm pretty sure I meant Sunday. That's why I didn't look it up. But Aura Equi, which means now it's here. He looks like a very small artist. He's only got 1.2 thousand subscribers. So I get this as a young, fresh, upcoming artist. Equi, one another secret bang. Okay, so already a little bit of a change in tone. Okay, I'm getting jazzy, loungy vibes. I like his voice, very pretty. Okay. 
Oh god, it sounds so familiar. God, who's that sound like? It sounds a little bit Will Young, who's a UK artist who won Pop Idol. And maybe a little bit George Michael as well. That like very chill, noughties, loungy pop vibe. Yeah, it's a nice song. I don't think I'm gonna make it the whole way through this one because the vibe of it is definitely, it's not really my cup of tea. Let's see where this came as well. It was 11th. Okay, so it wasn't just me who wasn't super feeling it. So the rankings, these songs were rated by the media last night from verse 12. That first song was 9th, this song was 10th. Uh, was 11th. Look, nice song, but I'm out. I'm out after two minutes because um, I just don't, yeah. It, it wasn't going to change. I'll check if something happens at the end. Actually, it's quite a Eurovision construction because it really just build up to that like more intense version of the course. But I just didn't find the course interesting enough that I wanted to sit the whole way through that. Next up, we got Noemi. This came six with the media. There's Noemi. Want to know my secret bang? She's been in it before. I recognize her name. I think she's been in it before. Okay, something a little bit more pacey, which I'm into now. I needed a bit of pace. A nice type of music video as well. It's got that kind of urgent piano, which I really like. It feels very Italian. I, I recognize that kind of sound from San Remo before. Mine's a little bit of Eden. Do you remember Eden from, um, oh, I can't remember his name, that rapper from two years ago? It's that piano, not the rapping. Okay, what's the chorus? Come on, Noemi. Ooh. Okay, I got a bit of a toe tap going on. Um, I don't know, I think this is a little bit of a mess. It sounds clangy, this course. It's not massively get working for me. It sounds a bit noisy. This was sixth. I like her vocal in the vor in the verses. That chorus was a bit. It got louder and then it got very loud. Yeah, it loses a bit of steam for me. I'm gonna wait for the end because I don't know if she's gonna have a big crescendo. Video isn't doing much for me either. It's a little bit just interpretive dance in water. It does sound a little bit like she's imitating previous year's San Remo wax. It's got a real San Remo feel, but a bit derivative, I think. Yeah, I've got a toe tap on, but I'm not enjoying it. It's weird. There's a toe tap beat to it, but I'm not massively enjoying the melody. Yeah, weird. That was a weird song because I had a toe tap on for most of the song, but then I was also kind of like not enjoying some of the loudness of the chorus. So it's this weird juxtaposition of kind of enjoying it, not enjoying it simultaneously. So yeah, I think the net product is something I'm a little bit in the middle, but interesting. I, I, I am expecting the songs to get better and better. Like they're not going to pull the good stuff at the start. They want to build up some tension, you know, obviously. Uh, well, anyway, we've got ja now we've got Gianni Morandi. He's saying, Apri tutti le porte. The song came fourth. I see that he's an older gentleman. I, I wonder, do the older gentlemen tend to do a little bit better with the jury because it's kind of, well, they can't put them last, I think. They tend to have a lot of respect from like leaders' long careers, so you can't put them. And the song is called Open All Doors. Let's keep an open mind because he might be absolutely awesome. Oh, he has got an official video. Okay. I, I feel like we've just gotten the nick in time because people have literally all just uploaded their videos like a couple hours ago. Am I getting all these stories out of this four minutes? Oh my God, he's adding a minute to my intended time of this video. One and number secret bang. Come on, Gianni. Fourth place of the media. Damn, he's been arrested for something spicy. What if we're gonna get a little bit of humor? I'm getting the impression this still has some humor in it. Oh, oh, it's upbeat. It does sound like it's gonna be nostalgic, a nostalgic tune. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I like the eccentricity of it. Okay, I like it. It seems like it's got a big humor to it. There's lots of in jokes I am not getting about this at all. But I can tell that it's tongue in cheek and it's playful and humorous. <laughs> the, the door just opened. Oh, sponsored by Fujifilm. 
Yes, this is very light and fun and... See, Italy is very lucky that they get all these songs from very different perspectives. Like, this is such a contrast to Achille Laro and Noemi. And it's nice, it's a good quality song. It's a different sound, it's a different vibe. It's just that really nice, pleasant variety. Like, if you had 12 of these songs, you'd probably get sick of it, but because it's, it's on its own, it's fresh. And the video is fantastic. I like these lyrics that are being integrated into a conversation in the video. Yeah, this is really lovely. Like, what a, what a, like, happy, fun... It's just really nice. I guess it's a real family song. I could see a lot of my, um... Some of my older relatives would actually really like this. They'd want an English version, but I could... I, they'd really enjoy it. Build up into the final chorus. Okay, what's gonna happen to the storyline? They're still in jail. The do 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 is brilliant. It's really catchy and fun and... Okay, I low-key really like this. <laughs> I'd almost be tempted to download it. It's not the time you thing you would like have like constantly on loop. But if it came on, it's a super pleasant song in the background. I hope all these people are breaking out of prison and haven't murdered people. Well, presumably if you murder people, you don't get put in a cell, 10 of you. Really, really lovely song. That was so charming and pleasant. And I just, I love the inclusion of these, uh, of different demographics of people. Really, Sam Raimo is just so good at that. Lovely. And I'd say he's got like a big history with Italy that they... They know him and he's probably had lots of albums and songs, but even as someone who has no idea who that person is, I can totally see the merits of that song. Like, I have no connection to that person, whatever. Gianni, I've never heard of him. I don't know a single one of the one of the songs and I still really, really enjoyed that. So it's got that just across borders appeal. Really, really great. And I'm surprised by that. I wasn't expecting to enjoy that so much. So that's great. I'm gonna put him in as my number one for now, but we're only four songs in and I haven't heard <laughs> Mahmoud yet. <laughs> Let's just... Uh, Anyway, next we've got La Representante de Lista, uh, which I had actually forgotten about, but when I searched them on YouTube, I actually realized I watched they were in last year. The song's called Chao Chao, which needs no translation. Okay, and we've got an official music video. Whoa, this came second. Damn. Okay, so they must have upped their game from actually, because I don't really remember their song being a contender last year. So they've clearly hit something this time. No, no, that's with the press. That one of the number secret bang. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> okay, this is gonna be interesting. I know it's gonna be interesting. Oh. Ooh, I like it. Do I like it? Yes, I think I like it. Ooh. 90s vibes, 80s vibes. Okay. And a lot, again, lots of interesting visuals they're giving us. Yeah, okay, it's so more 70s now. That guitar is very 70s. Okay, I'm only on board so far. I think I need a powerful chorus. That verse. Oh, it's disco ish. Ooh! It's a more oomphy disco, though. Okay, it's good. I like it. That guitar is so familiar. Someone really famous has. Ooh! Interesting now, we have this kind of like. Sounds like drum percussion coming in the background. Does lose me a little bit in the verses now. Let's get back to the chorus and see how I feel about the second chorus. Yeah, the chorus has got that umph I need. It feels like they've taken sounds from different decades and overlapped them, but it works. They're not competing. Sounds like they're harmonious. I'm still not as much into the verses, I gotta admit. She likes badges. She's bad maniac. Mmm. Baccarat. That beats remind me of Baccarat. Yeah, this is very, very, very good quality. This is very solid. I can see why this was put second. And I definitely think it's more memorable than last year's entry. I would remember this better. Okay. Yeah, really good quality there. I wonder was I slightly influenced by the fact I knew it was going to be second. No, I think I would have enjoyed that anyway. One thing I'll say as well is I've listened to 
This is my fifth song, and I've made it through four of the five, which for a national final for me, that has 24 songs, that is pretty amazing. I really enjoyed that. I would probably put it as my number two surprise. Okay, sixth up, we have Michelle Bravi. I think Michelle is a guy. Ooh, Winter of Flowers. Damn, I like that title. Okay, I think I think this video is gonna get blocked because I've got so many uh, big company music videos. Anyway, another music video. Again, if my music videos aren't showing, I'm sorry, it means that it's been blocked, but I will do my best to subscribe. Okay, Michelle Bravi, one of them, my secret bang. This came, I think this is seventh. Seventh with the media. Okay, another change in tone. Well, in fact, this is called Winter of Flowers, so it probably wasn't gonna be a banger. Got a bit of a sad boy vibe going on. Ooh, so it's got those violins and it's got this like slide electronic element coming in. That's reminding me of Seal. Okay, he's giving himself a job here to kind of pull himself through the verse. Oh, he's wet. Oh, he's dry. He's sitting. He's wet. Okay, chorus. Mm. It has that Italian ballad feel. I'm just getting like good but unoriginal. Is the the gut feeling I'm having? The music video is just like wind machines and rain. It's just a bit maybe. A nice snow. I don't know. Okay, at least they've got an audience now. Something's happening. Yeah, I'm just. And it's growing into violence. I don't think. I think violence are kind of an easy way to make a song sound dramatic. It's pretty hard to make a violin undramatic. Okay, and the music video is getting more interesting now. This, the flowers going ever. The first half it was very meh. Oh, he's back. God, he really doesn't have any luck. Okay, he's going through the seasons. Okay, I get it. The poor guy must have been whole wet for the whole day. Yeah, look, fine. I, uh, that just didn't do it for me. It was okay. Respectable. Good quality. I wouldn't want that at Eurovision. I think seventh is a probably a pretty appropriate placing, maybe a little bit high. Okay, oh my god, I need two songs left and then I, one song left and I got my mood. But first of all, we've got Massimo Ranieri. The song is called Lettra di la Dai Mare, which is Letters from the Sea, Letter from Beyond the Sea, which is another older gentleman. I hope we have some older gentle ladies as well. And it's not just big, there's a lot of dudes in this. Uh, Thing. Have we had any girls yet? Letter from Beyond the Sea. Ooh, it sounds like his friend drowned. One another secret bang. Okay, and it's another slow song. Two slow songs back to back. Drawing. What? Okay, that sounds a little bit like a piano lesson so far. Let's see where it goes. I'm not gonna make it through the song. I am 94% sure. Unless <laughs> there's a pop drop <laughs> of all pop drops. I'm not getting pop drop vibes from him. But never give up hope. San Romo can surprise. It's a bit Broadway. It's pleasant. It's calm. That accordion's giving it a quaint mainland Europe feel. Okay, it's picking up a bit of pace. Those plucky violins are making me think of Enya. I think this would be a nice song to listen to if you were learning Italian. Because he's singing at a like steady pace. It's, it's, do you know what, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with this at all. It's very much, I'm not the target demographic. The target demographic is people who've known his career and followed his career and want like a big, epic Italian ballad and he, they probably know all his backstory. I'd say he's got a hyperlink. Okay, this guy has an English hyperlink. He has his English Wikipedia page. That is a sign of success. If you have a Wikipedia page in a foreign language, you made it. So yeah, he's big in, he's big in Italy, I would say. Wow. Since 1964, okay. <laughs> I have to be careful that I don't get myself in trouble with Italy. I will listen to the end of the song. I got to be honest, I think if he won, would he even go to Eurovision? Would he want to go to Eurovision after the career that he's had? It's, it's a lovely song. There's nothing wrong with it. I actually probably, it'll end up being in my middle. I probably put this above Noemi actually, yeah, it really does. Oh. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I, I don't get the impression that's in the running. Oh, crescendo. But yeah, very Broadway, very film vibes, official soundtrack, but like bloody hell. I don't want to say anything bad about him because I think he's he's got a lot of fans and they might have pitchforks. <gasps> 
My God, finally it is time. We're listening to Mahmoud Abianco. The song is Brividi. I, look, I know who Mahmoud is. He came second in Eurovision 2019. I think he possibly could have come first if they made a couple of staging tweaks. I feel like their dancers were not very competent and were off beat a lot and it was a bit distracting. I thought he absolutely brought it. There were some staging, I would say, errors. And I feel like actually with such a small difference between him and Duncan Lawrence, it is actually conceivable with those small changes possibly they could have won, but still second place is really, really amazing. Soldi was was one of my favorite songs that year. I think it was my, it ended up being my number two or three. That was a really, really, really strong year. So very, very hard to, to get even to, into anybody's top five or 10, I think. And we have another music video. They're on little bikes. It's the two of them. I have to admit, I don't know anything about Blanco. Is he a rapper? By far the most views of the live performance. One on Number Secret Bang. Ooh, okay. Oh, I don't know what to expect. That was not the opening I was expecting. Oh, oh, I th that's not Blanca. Okay, it's ballady. It's slower. I got a nice, expensive video. Okay, a nice start. I have to admit, I am kind of playing. Is this in the potential to win? Sam Robo and. Be contented for your vision. So that's what I'm listening out for. Okay, it's grand so far. I'm not wowed yet. I'm jealous of his bike though. Bling bling. And his gorgeous apartment. Okay, dreamy starting. It's picking up. It's got a new beat. Uh, I'm not hearing the wire yet, I gotta be honest. Uh, oh, I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to. Are they? Where are they? They're not in Italy. Okay, I thought he might be a rapper. He's got some rap going on. Oh yeah, this is just not my type of music. Damn, I'm not getting this at all. I think lots of other people like this, but I just, I just, I'm not really liking it. Uh, I'm kind of devastated. Uh, uh, sad face. Oh. oh god, I think that's the most heartbreaking thing I've had this whole Eurovision season. Oh, I just didn't get that. I didn't get that at all. Oh, why did I? I just didn't get that. Oh, it was fine. Like I'm not saying that's bad or anything, but. I think my expectations were really high because it won the media and had the most views and it's Mahmoud who I think is amazing. So I was expecting like a real, I don't know, maybe as well I was expecting some of those more upbeat and in your face and like very earwormy and that was like a tender ballad duet. There's nothing wrong with it at all but oh, I don't know, I just, I'm trying to think back to Non Min Ave Fiato Niente. Did I like that on my first listen? I can't remember if I did. I ended up loving that song. I can't remember if I liked it on my first listen. I, I don't know if I would end up loving that though on multiple listens. It just didn't really melodically hit the spot for me. And I just wonder, is this one of these kind of like niche Italian things where it's just, everyone else loves it and they're just absolutely insane about it. And I just, I'm not the black sheep. I'm, and I, I'm definitely not saying that's bad at all, but in terms of like, the highest expectations, not high expectations, like the highest, as in I went into the song thinking we could potentially be hearing a Eurovision winner. So maybe my expectations were just way, way, way too high. And it really caught me off guard with what was going. I wonder if you could like look back in the video and see when my heart broke when I kind of realized this isn't a song that I'm gonna absolutely love. Oh, I'm really, <laughs> I'm devastated. I really wanted, I forgot to look at what the song meant as well. Chills, I didn't get chills, oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I really, really, really wanted to like that. Yeah, that just, that just didn't hit the spot for me.
I don't know how else to say it. You could probably see it in my facial expression as I was watching it. Anyway, let's move on to the next person. We've got 200,000 Hours by Anna Mena. Now this song followed the winner. This was this was last in the, um, this was last of the media. People are gonna kill me if this ends up being like a Electro Lamborghini bop and I end up liking it and I don't like Mahmoud's song as much. I'll get absolutely torn to bits, but that's just the way it is. Anna Mena won in my secret bank. Okay, it's upbeat, which I kinda need. We've had quite a few ballads in a row. Yeah, I'm already getting Electro Lamborghini vibes. I wonder if we're gonna see some twerking. Ooh, that jumpsuit is whoa, amazing. It looks like it's a Sprite jumpsuit or 7-Up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see why this came last because when you have it after Mood, it's so it's quite trashy and you can see her boobs. It's like the spectrum of reputable, serious, back to like trashy Europop. Damn, she looks gorgeous. I'm not saying I'm a, I love this song. I'm just saying, like, it's got an Eastern European trash pop sound, which I don't hate. But I can see why I came last. I definitely don't like it as much as I did. I actually thought Electro Lamborghini, Musica, Resto Compare, In Compare, was a really great song. Yeah, definitely, I'm getting Moldova, Romania vibes. Okay, don't freak out of me. I will put it below Mahmoud in my rankings, but I'm not putting that last. That, that is not last in my semi-final. I thought it was fine. Uh, it had some cute trashy elements to it, which I enjoyed. Let's go to Dargan D'Amico. This song came third. The song is Dove Si Pala. Where do you dance? Oh, another music video. My God, this video is giving me an absolute nightmare to upload. Oh, want to know my secret bang? I haven't really found my like, Oh, it's different. It's trashy, trashy beats. Nice. Oh, Ooh, we got sub um, subtitles as well. I was just gonna say, we haven't had anyone had that feel as that guy, that song that was called Black and White last year. That kind of like alternative Italian sound. So this is actually immediate. That's why I had such an O reaction because it read my mind. Okay, of course. Pop drop. Ooh, it is trash tastic. Yeah, God, this is super trashy. I don't know how this came third. <laughs> it's proper, like, uns, 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 beats in the club. That beat is real, real cheap. It has a sound of a song that's from like a social media, like TikTok star or someone from Instagram releasing their first single. It has that feeling. Almost like um, Victor and... Victor and Salim, the guys from Sweden, those two dudes. Samir and Victor. It has that like not singing, not rapping, just talking with a trashy dance beat behind. I don't know how this is third, I gotta be honest. Again, maybe it's something in the live performance. I can't watch the live performances because of Rise constrictions. Yeah, I just don't get it. This sounds really, really like cheap production to me. I don't get why it came third. Maybe he's like up and coming or he's cool or something. I don't know, but really, I don't know what subtext you need. I'm gonna just have a quick look at the live performance see if there's something I missed. I just quickly went through his live performance. It sounds better with an orchestra. It makes it sound a little bit less cheap, but yeah, sorry. I just don't understand what's going on there. I'm not in the same wavelength. Okay, finally we've got GC Ferrer. Is it Juicy or is it Geesey or I'm not sure how to say, but the song is called Miele. I think that means honey. Uh, GC, you wanna know my secret bang? Mmm. Oh. That is one of the best startings. Ooh. Mmm. A promising start, definitely. 
Okay, interesting video as well. I wonder where this is going. We've got her, we've got her in two screens. Domenica, that's my word of the day. Domenica, Sunday. Mmm, there's something about this that just feels a little bit different and a little bit... What position was this? This is 10th. Gosh, I do feel like I'm a little bit out of touch with the press rankings. Some of them I agree and some of them I find wildly different. I just really enjoy her vocal. I suppose I'm really interested in the visual as well. And also there's this kind of fresh perspective because demographically she's kind of on her own. This lady who's in maybe her 30s or 40s. 40s, I think. And she's done this whole video in one take. That's pretty awesome. It has that kind of like, like kind of cute, quaint, French, Spanish, Italian, like romantic language town feel, which I really, really, really like. Oh, wow, she's wearing an amazing dress. Yeah, I don't know. I just enjoy this. I think it's, I think it's really pleasant. God, her apartment is absolutely stunning. I like this cute little harpsichord in the coming in the background. I thought that was absolutely utterly charming. I thought that was really, really, really charming. I'd say that was one of my favorites. And I think that I'm gonna to be totally and utterly alone in liking that. But um, yeah, do you know what the, the most interesting thing is? If you make me ref really, really reflect on those 12 signs, that's, that's the end of it now. Okay, first of all, I gotta say, look, I just, that that Mahmoud song just didn't do it for me personally. I know that loads of people are like, it's a piece of art, it's a work of wonder, and everyone's gonna be gushing about it. I don't feel it yet. Maybe I need more listens, but then there's also just the possibility that the song is just not for me. Yeah, I'm just not vibing with it. So I think that's probably my overall thing is I'm I'm quite disappointed about that because um I wanna like it and I wanted a masterpiece and I was expecting that maybe my expectations were too high so there's a slight tinge of disappointment coming out of this first semi for me overall i think the quality is very very high i haven't heard a real wow song i'm like i must download this now urgently i haven't got that yet but we've still got 12 songs left i have to admit of all of them i'm really surprised at this but my favorite is Janny. i just thought that was so happy and uplifting and i the music video was fantastic and I, that, I think his personality shone through and the song just felt light and airy and again I don't think I'm in a rush to download it but that was if I have to assess like my gut feeling of which one did I enjoy the most to sit through I would say it was probably that and actually I would probably say GUC was my second I'm saying her name wrong let's call her Miss Ferrari um, and then I would probably put my number three as La Por Ra Representa La Representante I'm currently putting Mahmoud fourth. I don't know if that's because I feel social pressure to do so, because if I don't, I feel like I'll probably get ripped apart by live wolves. Like, I still appreciate that it was a decent song, just not the expectations I had. And then the rest of them, who else really stoned out? I thought the song from the sea was pretty okay. Uh, yeah, I think the rest of them were maybe just something that would be a pass for me. But that's only the first night, and that's only the votes on the media, so... The reaction from the public could be very, very, very different. We've still got 12 songs left and presumably they split them up in quality. So we're going to have a couple of big hitters in the second semi-final as well. So I am looking forward that I didn't get that Dargan song at all. I did not get that at all. Totally over my head. Ooh, we have Emma Moroni this year. Damn. And Fabrizio Moore. God, it's like a all-star all -star winner's edition. Okay, anyway, that's what I thought about semi-final number one of San Remo. This video's already been an hour. This is going to be an absolute freaking nightmare to edit. My God, I'm going to cry. The amount of official music videos I need to try and navigate. In any case, let me know who you liked in the comment section down below. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in another Eurasian reaction video very soon. Goodbye.